guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Assembly Planter. And as you can see right here, I have been pretty busy in our factory leveling things up, upgrading things. Look at all of the stuff we're getting. <laughs> So let me zoom out a little bit. Look at this factory, guys. I have been busy setting up automation for everything. As you can see, we no longer require any inputs. We're just spitting out stuff. That's it. We're just spitting stuff out. No inputs required, only outputs. How amazing is that? Oh, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Check it out. So I've got two rows here of plastic, actually three rows of plastic. Plastic, you need a bunch of. And right now my next tier of factory to make one of the next tier costs me way too much. This is what we're working with right here. 95,000 every 15 seconds. This one does 5.1 million every 15 seconds. But look what it takes to make another one of those. 32 million iron. I can only hold 23 million iron. So, and look at 79 million plastic. <laughs> oh, so anyway, needless to say, that's not happening anytime soon. But what we can do is we can finish leveling up our stuff here to hopefully get the black hole and whatever that other thing is. Hang on. You know what? Is there? I think I can turn this stuff off here. There, that'll... I mean, the popping noise is still a little bit annoying, isn't it? That's maybe better. Okay, so here we are trying to figure out how to make black holes, and I think they're relatively easy once I know what bench they go to. Oh, it's just stars. Oh, that's all it takes is stars. So we should be able to just make a ton of these. Oh, they're slow, though. Oh, they're slow. Okay, well, once we have our first one, we can make one of these things. Hang on, let's cancel that really quick and make one of those. I don't know what this thing does, but let's just... Let's plunk it down right up there in the corner. Okay, what is this? trade use the shrinker to make machines that has no input use feedback collectors to cancel out inputs creates all the specified outputs or more does it in the specified time or less oh very interesting so we need to make a factory that can make all of that stuff in eight seconds and I don't think any of my factories actually run on eight second intervals. Yeah, 15 second intervals. So that's not good. I think what we're gonna end up having to do is automate these black holes and use them with these auto crafter tables. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do that because it's the only way I Okay, that might not be the only way How long do automatos take to even grow because I guess that's the first problem is if I can't grow them in eight seconds Then that's just not gonna work So you know what let's let's start making some black holes let's get some black holes going here um to make one of those we're gonna want one of these and then we need a thousand stars which how much does this make oh this makes 1600 so two of these could feed one of these i believe hopefully without any wastage or with very little wastage there's gonna definitely be wastage what what the heck am i doing two of those can feed oh wait i need more black hole factories that's the problem two of those can feed three i think of these 
something like that and then we're just gonna take all the black holes and we're gonna shove them out there we go three black holes every 30 seconds it's not the best but I don't think we can really go any faster yeah that's pretty much as fast as we can go so well at least with the stuff that we have we will be able to speed this up later I think so black holes shrink that now if we take these and we make a whole bunch of them if we even can uh, we're gonna start running into plastic problems anyway we'll get as many as we can down for now and we can actually use this factory oops backwards we can use these factories to start making more black holes while we wait because when you hit test it actually sends that stuff back to your main inventory so just like all the other factories we will set this up like so and we're going to need a bunch more of those black hole makers as many as we can things are coming along Look at that. We're actually making things pretty fast. Oh, except we're out of the purple stuff now. And that is not good. How much are we making of that stuff, actually? We're making 1,700 every minute-ish per factory. So we're doing okay. We're, we're doing okay. Nothing spectacular, but we're doing okay. Anyway, this whole system here will be making us black holes. And you know what? While I'm, while I'm sitting here waiting to have enough to actually make this factory properly, we can take these and we can set them up inside of our base, like our main base. And at least they'll be getting used while we're waiting for more resources to build up. And while that's happening, we could actually start working on our infinite material building machine. I don't know how this is actually going to all work out here, but we're going to try. We're going to see how it goes. So let's just plunk these down in here for now, just to get them to get them working. And we've run out of room. Oh, there's a little bit of room over here. OK. Now we're making black holes. That's not so bad. And then what we want to do is start. I guess we have to start with this. We're going to start with making dirt factories out of dirt. And really simply, this should just say one dirt. And then like that. And we're just going to output a dirt. These are going to get super expensive super fast but I mean it might be worth it so one dirt now I think what I want to do is get these systems set up in a way so I can easily add more or less you know so maybe what we want to do then why can't I make more of these? Oh, I am making more. Okay, so then from there, the one dirt system is going to just go and it's going to turn into a ten dirt system. Like that. There we go. We can call this one ten dirt. And then we can call this one one hundred dirt. And there we go. Okay, so there's the first part. Now, I think we can turn dirt into stuff, right? Dirt gets turned into wood. Ten dirt into five wood. Over one second, though, so that's actually really good. So let's get a ten wood factory going. And to do that, we're going to need two of these. And I believe two 10 dirt guys. Actually, yeah, two 10 dirt guys. 
And there we go. Now we're making 10 wood every second. We will call this 10 wood. And then I guess we could turn this into a hundred wood just to have a hundred wood every second. Why not? Now these are going to get exponentially more expensive as I go. But hopefully we're able to build more and more stuff exponentially as I go as well, which will help. And now that we've got wood, what else do we need? Wood, plastic, and I don't know if I can make plastic here. No, but we can make olives. And olives are very useful. Okay. So we can now make 10 dirt into five olives. So let's make two of those because we're going to want to turn out 10 olives. I want everything to be base 10 if I can if I can help it just to make it simpler to work with. And there we go. 10 olives shrink. And if we make 10 of those, we will have 100 olives. Just like that. Okay, what else are we trying to do? We got a hundred wood. We gonna need plastic, which I think... How fast does plastic get made? One second? Oh. So... Then really, we don't even need the hundred olive factory. We probably just need the ten olive factory. Uh, actually, we only need a single olive factory, which we don't even have. But this should work. Because if I put... Oh my god, I'm, I have too many... I've got too many factories going on here. Let's get rid of a bunch of these. I can make them again if I need them. So, ten olives. We want to spread that out over ten factories. Hang on. Ten... 10 olives we want to split out over 10 factories two four five and all of these are going to make plastic which should be relatively easy to do okay now we're gonna be making 10 plastic a second whoops 10 plastic a second is really good and we are going to ship all of that up and into here. Why is this not working? Oh, I think it's because I need 100 olives, not 10. Whoops, I just put the same one down. Okay, 100 olives. We're actually making 140 over, over 2 seconds. I don't want it over 2 seconds. How do I not do that? All right, after a whole bunch of dinking around, I finally got this thing. Oh, I don't want it to output olives, though. Where am I getting the olives from? It shouldn't be giving me olives. Where do the olives come from? I'm supposed to be getting 100 plastic and only 100 plastic. Oh, this belt here. Um. Okay, I think we can fix that. I just need to move this over to... Uh, I gotta move this one as well. I'm trying to get it to be, again, like I said before, a hundred as a base. Okay, quit that. That shouldn't be a loop anymore. Okay, a hundred. Now all I gotta do is break these two, replace them with this. And now we're ending up with way too many. Oh, because of the stupid... Mm. Hang on. What if I send a bunch of them out the other way? How does that... There we go. That fixes it. 
It's not pretty, but it works. I'm trying to set up everything to be a base 100. So when I need more of something, it's really easy to just slap it down and we're done. So there it is. There's our 100 plastic over one second. Shrink that bad boy down. Oh, I need to call this something 100 plastic. Whoop, there we go. So now we've got the wood, we've got the plastic, and all we got to do is get the automatoes, which I'm not sure. Oh, we can. We can turn wood into that. So that's basically just the same system as our wood one. Ten wood should turn into... Five automatoes. And just like that, we should have ten automatoes per second. 10 uh, tomatoes and if we make 10 of those we can have a hundred automatoes there we go 100 automatoes okay now we just need our 100 wood factory which is this guy we need our 100 automato factory and we need our 100 plastic factory and boom that Right, let's make sure before we shrink this that is what we need automato plastic wood automato plastic wood looks good i guess what are we gonna call this trade trade one shrink okay now how does this part work can we just oh there we go one thousand wait what did we even get for trading Oh, I got a star. Okay, hang on. We can level up. You have unlocked time machines. Place multiple of them next to the same machine to get exponential time decrease. What the heck is a time machine? And where do we make it? That looks like a time machine. Okay, we can't make that yet, but if we sell 1,000 of these, that should be that should be pretty easy to do. Biomass, we can get from here, and that takes 5 wood for 10, so it's the same as all the rest of our factories. And it'll be pretty easy to get 1,000 of them, because it's just going to be 10 100 factories. Oh, hang on a minute, what's going on? My ratios are all messed up. Five wood turns into ten. It's inverted. So I only need half. That's why this is all weird. So there. We are actually one to one. Then we're splitting it into two to get ten. Ten biomass. Perfect. Okay, so that was a little bit weird. We don't need this one anymore. And okay. Now let's get 1,000 biomass. 1,000 biomass. All right, let's use that. And 1,000 wood is so easy. We've already got the 100 wood factories. So we just got to slap 10 of those guys together and we're done that part. It's going to just turn into a grind of making factories now, I guess. There we go. 1,000 wood. Perfect. Trade that off. 1,000 olives. Man, these are just easy peasy. Well, oh, except we've run out of black holes because these things are starting to take quite a bit of black holes. So, instead of doing that right now, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. Let's get rid of this. We don't need it. And perhaps it's time to start making our black hole factories a little bit bigger. All right, now we're making 162 every 30 seconds. It's better than nothing. Let's get that out. And I guess we can use these two. How much does it cost to make another 
one of those factories. 62 million plastic. All right, so that's not going to be happening anytime soon. We're just gonna have to work with what we got. We can make a whole bunch more of these guys and slap them back down. That will at least speed up our black hole production for now. We can also make a time machine now. We can make two. That should help our black hole system. We got our black hole things down here. Let's move this. How does that help? We should be... Pumping out black holes a lot faster now. I think it's working. I'm just not sure if, if when it says beside, it means literally beside. Just in case it does, what if I put that other one there? Okay. So that should hopefully really get the black holes moving. And now we have 1,000 olives. Every second, by the way, 1,000 olives every second. Pow. Okay, let's get rid of this. And, oh God. Now we need a belt, a bunch of belts. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to do that right now. We're not going to do that right now. Um, what I want to do is start working on upgraded storage. I was looking in here and we have the biggest one I've made so far is these huge crates, but we've now unlocked the giant crates and we've also unlocked the shiny crates. Look at how much these things add. 1.3 million for every one. So we could start making a bunch of these. Well, not, I guess not too many of them. It takes a thousand giant crates to make one of these other ones. Oh man, I wonder if we can start some kind of crateception. We've got the 10 wood factory. You know what? We don't have a 10 copper factory yet, do we? But we could make one pretty easily. Okay, maybe that's what we start working on next. However, oh my God, these things are huge. <laughs> and there's one bigger than this. Okay, whatever, let's plunk these down. That's gonna allow us a whole bunch more room so that we can actually start placing down our bigger factories. Where's that thing? These black hole factories need, need that, don't they? Yeah, 62 million plastics. So the black, the black hole factories actually need that to operate or to, to run. And what I want to do here is get rid of all of these crate factories for now. I think I have large crates up here. Do I have any other crates? It's really hard to see. I tried to keep things kind of organized. Okay, I think we're good. So we're going to start a brand new factory for small crates. We don't need this one anymore. We'll get rid of it. And I think that's good. So actually, we don't need any of these. We'll get rid of all of them. Okay, let's start a brand new system. Small crates. We're going to want 10 small crates every second, which means we're going to need 10 of these factories. Okay, and each of these takes 10 wood, which means we're going to need 10 of our wood factories, or our 10 wood factories. We don't need this one anymore either. The trade is over. Okay, now we're making 10 crates, 10 small crates every second. Ah, 10, 10 small crates shrink that down and now we're going to want to make the medium crates but before we can do that we have to make the 10 copper yes so let's do that okay right there 10 copper so we're putting in 30 wood splitting it out over 10 chests uh, 10 wood to copper converters 
and we are getting out 10 copper pow all right so now this it's 10 of them so one of those oh how is this gonna work we need one of these and one of these into one of these and that should give us one medium crate every second okay now we need to do 10 of those and we got to connect those last few there we go we're making 10 medium crates every second 10 medium crates shrink that down this is gonna start getting to be very expensive soon where are we at i think we need iron which we do not have yet each iron takes four copper dang so to make 10 iron we're gonna need 40 copper which is two on each side here so we'll go like this we'll go like this and we need the copper 10 copper this should work there we go 10 iron get oh okay we have 10 large crates coming out every second perfect let's shrink that down that is a huge pain in the butt huge pain in the butt so we need more black holes we need more black holes faster we're not making them fast enough and right now it seems like we're kind of being limited by our galactite so i think the next thing i need to do is upgrade our galactite farm this one is just not cutting it anymore okay galactite galactite version 2 i guess we'll call this one it's making almost a hundred thousand every minute so that's pretty nice let's hook that guy up like so and i did clean up a bunch of the base while i was waiting for the resources for those things so we've got all of this cleaned up i started making some better iron factories which we can probably yeah 9.8 million so we're pumping out iron here that is great the plastic um 5.1 million per factory we need more automatos for that so we can't quite do that yet how's our black hole factory situation we're still waiting for more of the galactite okay well it's a work in progress we're getting there how many black holes do I have? I have 52,000, so that's probably a pretty good spot to start trying to make the huge, the huge crates. Is that what I'm working on now? I don't even remember. We made 10 large. Yeah, it's time to get into the huge. Oh, each one of these takes 28,000 black holes so it's not a good time to get started on that at all <laughs> Twenty-eight thousand. oh my god okay well we're not gonna be doing that soon so right now i think the problem is way down when we're actually making the black hole stuff the farm for the black holes i think is why it's taking 30 seconds for the factory and i'm not sure there's actually a way to speed that up i don't believe there is now i remember we needed 10 of these things and they produce what they make 
10 stardust over five seconds, and this cannot be sped up unless we use time machines. We could use time machines, but that's going to kind of break things. How, how much time does one of these things actually even do? Hang on. Um, what is this even? Stardust? Okay, well, invalid name. Stardusts. Okay, now if I put this here, I should be making, whoops, I should be making 10 every 5 seconds. Now what if I stick this beside it? It cuts the time in half. But then every single one of these things needs a star core, which is not feasible. That is just not something we can do. So 10 Stardust can get sieved by a golden sieve in how much time? Where is my golden sieve? I need one of these other sieves first. There's got to be a way to speed these black holes up. So we're going to pump, we're going to pump the stardust right into a sieve and then out. Oh, it's 20. Oh, it's 20. Okay, that's fine. We can just add one more stardust. Okay, so now we're making one star flower seed. Yeah, see, it grows in 30 seconds. That's the part that that's screwing it all up. It takes 30 seconds no matter what. We can't speed that part up. So that's the part that's breaking it. And we're already trying to speed it up with these guys over here. I got the black holes being encapsulated around these guys but they can only do so much now there's probably a way I can get more out of them to really speed things up but that's about as good as it's gonna get okay guys so I have been pretty busy automating some stuff to sell here and we're almost I wish it was keeping track of how many trades we've actually done. But anyway, I'm up to the point where I've automated Galactite one per sec- uh, ten per second. Yeah, we're up to ten Galactite per second out of these machines. Which is pretty good. I've got the gold, I've got the iron, I've got the copper, all that stuff is here. So I think, let's just go down. Yeah, we're up to a hundred gold per second from these machines, one thousand iron per second. All of that stuff is fairly normal, but that's where we're at right now. We're black hole. Our black hole system here is looking pretty good. Can I make? No, can't make any more of those just yet. We're waiting for more galactite. So anyway, we can now get up to level 20. So I want to check that out. You have reached the last level. You can now craft star cores in the advanced crafting table. Have fun breaking the game. Thanks for playing. Wait a minute. We can just craft these? We can just craft these. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That seems super duper broken. Because when we craft these, we can make these, and these make everything exponentially faster to make more of these. Oh my god. What are we about to get into? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is about to get crazy. Okay. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this episode up right there. I am going to make some more black holes, see what kind of damage we can do here. And yeah, there's probably going to be one more episode of this where we kind of destroy this game. But... We'll see how things go. Anyway, guys, I hope you're liking this series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you 
next time.